Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the Bright Side. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. If you've got questions about the longevity products, longevity business, a health challenge, if you have questions about formulations, ingredients, if you have comments or success stories you'd like to share, we want to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the bright side, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off the website. You can also click on the Join the Team link for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself. You can help change the world. You can change lives, literally change lives. When people get on a supplement program like the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Start Pack, and they haven't been on a supplement program before, and believe it or not, most people still have not been or are not hip to the experience of getting on sup uh, nutritional supplements. Longevity makes it super easy. Just get somebody on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine who's never supplemented before and watch what happens. I've seen it thousands of times over the last 20 years, and that's the business opportunity that's being offered to you for a one-time $25 fee. Even if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price, you can do that for a one-time $25 fee. Click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. For more information, also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, our Truth Transdermal C Serum made with lots, well over 50% of the product is vitamin C, premium fat soluble, stable, moisturizing, skin softening, healing vitamin C, our Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Retinol 5% and Truth Retinol 1% gel. And all our other Truth Treatment products are available at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay. Welcome back to The Bright Side. We're talking, on our last program, we were talking about the distinction between the cells and the tissues and organs. Doctors tend to work at the level of the tissues and the organs, but the area that breaks down, the true area of breakdown, when we have disease, when we're not as healthy as we should be, or for ex have accelerated aging, is at the cell level. It involves energy production at the cell level. This is what really disease is about. It's about energy production. Uh, deficiencies or defects are too much over energized cells somehow there's something wrong with the energy producing machinery inside a cell and we have total control over that process we don't have control once the once the disease has hit the organ level or the or uh, or the tissue level we don't have as much control because the our control we still have control at dressing the cell but we don't have control at the tissue level or at the organ level through food, supplements, exercise, rest, avoiding molecules that the body has to eliminate, pro a proper oxygenation, and that includes blowing out carbon dioxide as much as it, as it includes blowing in oxygen or sucking in oxygen. We have control over how our body shows up at the tissue and organ level by manipulating the cell through our lifestyle choices, by getting on a supplement program, by making sure we're eating less calories, and by making sure we're eating as, as nutrient-dense as possible. 
and making sure that we're pre-processing our food through chewing or juicing or soups. Making sure you're getting a little bit of exercise every day or at least every other day, four to seven times a week, getting 10 minutes of exercise. You don't need a lot. You don't jump up and down on a rebounder for 10 minutes a day. Making sure you're resting. How hard is that to do? Make sure you rest. Rest in, within a context of exercise is one of the body's great pleasures. We may not like to rest all the time, but when we exercise right after that, we love to rest. It's con I call it extra rest, the combination of exercise and rest. Staying away from sugar, cigarettes, booze, drugs, and making sure we're breathing correctly. It sounds so simple. I know it sounds so simple. And there's probably people saying it can't be that simple. My doctor would have known. It's not true. Your doctor is obsessed with the minutia and with test scores and diagnostics and has been propagandized even if they're well-meaning. These five steps are so effective. Food supplements, exercise, rest, avoiding toxic molecules, and making sure we're respirating correctly. These five steps are so effective because they work at the level of the cell. And it's so cool that we can access our cells via these five steps. Food supplements, exercise, rest, or extra rest, avoiding toxicity, and making sure we're breathing correctly. And it all has to do with energy. And this is where digestion and food become so darn important. I am very aware that almost everybody who calls on this program or, or in my presentations or writes me letters is going to hear about their digestive system from me. And it's not because I'm a one-trick pony. It's not because I'm some kind of food guru. I'm definitely not. It's not because I'm like Mr. Eat Only Organic or, you know, the caricature stereotype of a, the foodie. I'm definitely not a foodie. But... Digestion and food are the source of the energy. That's where the energy comes from. It's just chemistry. It's just, and it's not even chemistry. It's logic. Chem if it's all about energy, the source of energy is digestion and food. Obviously, that's where you want to work first. When we talk about these two elements, digestion and food on the bright side every day, I talk about it because these represent leverage. These represent locuses of control where we can control our body at the most fundamental level. And that means everything upstream will be affected beneficially if you do it correctly. Everything, inflammation, autoimmunity, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, all of it can be affected by working at that level of the digestive system. And that is so powerful because who controls that? We do. It's not a medical issue. It's a lifestyle issue and has to do largely with what we're putting into our system and common sense should tell you no different. As a matter of fact, a lot of the problems that are associated with the digestive system can be mimicked or duplicated by sticking things in through your uh, IV. If you are an IV drug addict if you, or if you're using vaccines, that can also create a problem. You know, autoimmunity can be caused by vaccinations because you're bypassing the skin and getting right into the blood. Well, the ordinary way for most of us of stuff getting into the blood is through the digestive system. When we talk about food, you gotta, you gotta break food down into its two components, macronutrients and micronutrients. Food is made up of both. Mac, it's a combination of macro and micro. The macronutrients are the pure energy. The micronutrients facilitate the uh, action of the energy. You don't wanna have just raw energy in the body. You want to have an ability to channel that energy into various chemical reactions. Just putting energy into the body or putting energy into a cell is not really what you're looking for. You want to have energy plus an ability to direct that energy to making collagen, to repairing bone, to making skin cells, to making your heart work correctly, and to making everything work correctly. And that's where micronutrients come in, the vitamins and the minerals. The vitamins and the minerals in combination with the energy or how we stay healthy from a food perspective. So you, you say, well, where, where can I get these, where can I get foods that have macro and micronutrients all combined? Those are called whole foods. A whole food is a natural food, a food that's found in nature that it has the exact correct ratio, proportion of energy producing substances, protein, fats, and carbohydrates to energy facilitating or chemistry facilitating substances, vitamins and minerals. That's called a whole food. Processed foods are imitations. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010. That's what we all, most of us subsist on. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a quick break and come back with more good health information on the Bright Side right after this. Okay, we 
are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll get your calls in our next segment. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health challenges, questions about uh, anything we're speaking about here today, this whole idea of energizing the cell. If you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number. Number for the Brightside Ben phone team, if you're interested in purchasing Longevity products or if you want to sign up to join the Brightside Ben team, is 866-735-2470. 866-735-2470. So it's all about energy. Energy is derived in uh, energy in the body is derived from two main sources. It's derived from, uh, well, I shouldn't say it's derived from one main source, and that's food. But food itself is composed of the energy, uh, the the raw energy plus the mm, channeling molecules. I've never really heard anybody describe vitamins and minerals that way, but that's exactly what they are. They channel or direct electrical energy so that it can be used. And under ordinary circumstances, I should say under healthy circumstances, the foods we're eating have just the right amount of micronutrients, vitamins and minerals, channeling molecules as they do raw energy, protein, fats, and sugars. Well, guess what? Over the last 200 years, actually really beginning around 10,000 years ago, but at a dramatically accelerated pace over the last couple hundred years, we have figured out how to separate the macronutrients from the micronutrients. We have figured out how to just get raw energy into the body. The body loves, or I should say the brain loves raw energy. The body doesn't love it. The brain loves as much energy as possible. This is why you don't want to eat from your brain. You want to eat from your body because the body will tell you what it wants. The brain is not so is nowhere near as wise as the body when it comes to understanding these things. And our body will tell us a lot more information, give us a lot more information, good information about what to do for it, to, how to care for it than the brain will. The brain, it loves this raw energy. This raw energy really, basically from a biochemical standpoint, raw energy, whether it's in the form of protein, fats, or carbohydrates, especially carbs, because they're super quick burning, they create a biochemical situation or biochemical environment in the brain where the brain is very, very happy. The brain thinks it just won the lottery when you eat a Snickers bar. When we eat a food that spikes our blood sugar sharply, that's a quick energy hit, which is like most of our food, even just cereal in the morning is a quick energy hit, the brain goes, yippee! It just thinks it won the lottery from a biochemical perspective. So we eat because we want to fool ourselves into thinking we won the lottery, largely, which is a, an abuse of food. And we pay for it. We eat for the reward chemistry. We eat for dopamine. We eat for serotonin. We eat for oxytocin. These are all the chemicals in the brain that are associated with the yippee feeling. We eat for, yippee fe- for the yippee feeling, for the happy feeling. That's why we eat and we pay the price for it. Think about how much, how, how would your life be different if you only ate when you were really, really hungry, not when you were thought you were hungry, but when you were really hungry. I I lost 50 pounds a few years ago. I've told this story before. I lost 50 pounds just by placing my attention in my belly whenever I was hungry. And even to this day, I notice that I eat from my brain. It's, I mean, I'm given, I'm saying these things from an education standpoint or an information standpoint, but that doesn't mean it's easy because the brain is so powerful. So it's not like I'm judging anybody for it. I'm just saying that's a major cause of our health challenges. And then we go to the doctor and we're surprised the doctor can't help us. And the reason we're spending so much time talking about this whole idea is if you're truly interested in health, I know you are, if you're listening to this program, you're either interested in it for your sake or for your loved one's sake or because of your business or because you just like these ideas, you have to focus on the gut on the digestive system. If you're not healthy in any way, if you're not healthy in any way, and you're on a prescription drug, I'm guaranteeing you that when you start to place attention on your gut, you will feel better to the degree you give attention. Now, there's other things you have to do eventually, but if you're sick, just giving your digestive system some loving will make a huge difference in your energy levels, in your pain levels, in your joy for life levels. And the amounts of drugs you take and the the amount of time you spend interacting with the medical model, if you just start to give the digestive system some love. And the simplest way to do it is just kind of calorie restriction. Think of it. For most of us, when we have hypothyroidism, I'm just going to pick that because I I wanted to talk about hypothyroidism here today. 
and get a, we'll continue talking about it. But if you're suffering from hypothyroidism, this is a classic case of a digestive health issue. And if you're suffering from hypothyroidism, not only does the digestive system affect the thyroid, but the thyroid affects the digestive system, and you get this downward spiral. If you just do something like fasting, you will notice a dramatic improvement in your health, even if just calorie restriction. You will notice a dramatic improvement in your symptoms, I should say, and eventually your health. Calorie restriction, eating less food or fasting, is like, it's like giving the digestive system a break. Imagine a scab on your face or on your body, on your skin somewhere that you kept picking at. What would you think would happen to that scab eventually? Eventually, it wouldn't heal. Eventually, it would get infected. Eventually, you'd have problems that you wouldn't have if you just let the skin heal, let the scab heal. Well, guess what? For many of us, we have that same scabbing up in our intestines, and we never give it a break. We never give it a chance to heal. Now, it's true the digestive system cells of the digestive tract divide really rapidly, faster than any other system in the body. So healing is its way, and that's why most of us can get, get away with a lot more than we should. But eventually, you're going to get into a situation where you have a scab that doesn't heal. And that is a very bad situation. And it can affect every single system upstream. And guess what? Every single system is upstream. So that means it can affect everything. Now, we've spent a lot of time talking about fats. I still want to talk about them because fats are very difficult for the body to process. The reason we're spending so much time talking about fats, and I got a lot more I want to say about fats, dietary fats, is number one, fat is the highest concentration of energy of any food group. So yeah, protein, fats, and carbs all provide energy, but fats have twice as much energy as the next highest. Twice as much energy as carbs. And protein for that matter. More than twice as much energy. So they have the, fats have the highest concentration of, of any energy, uh, of energy containing a food substance. And the body loves this kind of energy, or the brain loves this kind of energy, so fats really make the brain go yippee. And because fats are so high in energy, they are intimately related to the recovery, to recovering from wounds, to growth, to repair, to post-surgery, to uh, youth, uh, just developmental kinds of things that happen in youth, to anti-aging. All of these require lots of energy. And number two, the second reason why we're spending so much time talking about this is because the fact that fats are so energy rich makes them problematic. All that energy can create damage if it's not handled correctly. And this is why the digestive system has evolved a very, uh, a very complicated mechanism for breaking up fats. It's also why some nutritionists will tell you to avoid certain fats. They'll tell you to stay away from vegetable oils. And you know what? They, they have a point because vegetable oils are fats that have lots of energy trapped in them. Whenever you have energy trapped in a substance, that substance is unstable, and you can create damage, damaging compounds by heating up your fats. I don't go as far as to avoid them entirely, but you certainly want to be respectful of them. Fats are so energy dense that nature has had to lock them up. So fats tend to be locked up in foods, and they're difficult, the energy is difficult to get at. And that's where a good, healthy, functioning digestive system, especially fat digesting system, is so important and why messed up fat absorption is behind almost every single health challenge you can name. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. We are back on the bright side. I'm Farm Suspend. Got lines open, 844-236-6010. Hang tight. We'll get your calls here in a moment. Just want to get to a few stories here, and then uh, we'll get your calls, 844-236-6010. Quick reminder to check out our True Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com and all the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com as well. All right. From the journal Current Biology... Brain waves synchronize to the speed of talking, influencing the way we hear words. This is really interesting. Do you ever uh, find yourself finishing someone else's sentences, even though you don't really know them well? Fortunately, the ability to predict what someone is going to say next isn't the preserve of those in long-term relationships. Our brain processes information and predicts what's going to happen next. And the speed at which the speaker is speaking so-called speech rate plays an important role in how our brain processes the information. 
Your brain will process information better if it is in so-called alpha state. If you can talk in an alpha, a talk where your listener is induced to go into an alpha state, your listener will absorb the information much more effectively. There's four brainwave states. You've got alpha, beta, and theta, and delta. Now they've got another one called gamma, but we'll just talk about the four main ones. Alpha, beta, theta, and delta waves. Alpha waves are associated with the hypnotic state, and we do our best healing in alpha state. And anything you do to get your brain in alpha state is going to be in your interest. Rhythm is a great way to get into alpha state, and by talking in a rhythm, you can create a, you can induce other brains that are listening to go into alpha state and learn or understand what you're talking about much easier. If they're in beta state, it's much harder. So talking with a, a certain rhythm can be very helpful. Our brain will follow speech rhythms after, uh, after it's been modified, uh, after there's been a change. So our brain will kind of switch over from beta into alpha, from problem solving, which is beta, into listening, which is alpha. Alpha is like meditation. Theta is super cool. I'm not even going to talk about that. Delta is deep sleep. But alpha is the hypnotic state where you absorb information much more effectively. Guess what? You can go into alpha yourself. You can put yourself in alpha. That's called self-hypnosis. And it's an awesome health strategy. Self-hypnosis, putting yourself into alpha state on your own. You can do it just by listening to a rhythm in your body. You can do it by self-talk, by changing the way you talk to yourself. We all talk to ourselves. There's always a voice in our head. By changing the rate of that voice, you can find yourself gradually going into alpha state. It's so cool. That's how much control we have over our bodies. That's how much control we have over our brain. If you have schizophrenia or, or uh, bipolar disorder or any kind of uh, uh, emotional brain health issue, mental health issue, I should say, controlling your self-talk, not just the words of your self-talk, which is pretty obvious, but the rhythm of your self-talk can be a great way to access your body's own natural healing powers. It can be a great way to help yourself fall asleep. Tonight, if you have problems falling asleep, notice that one of the reasons, maybe the, the main reason, maybe the only reason why we can't fall asleep is because our mind is going like, our brain is thinking thoughts, right? If you have insomnia, you tend to be thinking lots of thoughts. Well, guess what? Notice that those thoughts, which all have a verbal quality, thoughts always have a verbal quality, they're words. It's like a voice in our head. Notice that uh, that voice is, tends to talk really fast. That puts you into beta state. That puts you into problem-solving state. If you can make that voice in your head talk slower and talk more rhythmically, you will find that you are naturally becoming drowsy. Hypno hypnotists work with this all the time, but we can do it ourselves. We can self-hypnotize ourselves. All of this is to say that we've got a lot more control over how our life shows up and how our body shows up in life than we are being told. All right, let me do one more and then we'll get to your calls. Study, uh, scientists identify hormone link between diabetes and hypertension. There's actually a hormone that is linked to both. This is according to research from the Journal of the American Heart Association. This is a hormone whose increased levels not only create problems with blood pressure, but also create problems with how we handle blood sugar. And, oh, by the way, it doesn't say this in this article, but this hormone also creates issues around how we process minerals. And most people have not heard of this hormone unless you've listened to The Bright Side because we talk about it a lot. It's a hormone called aldosterone. Aldosterone is your mineral balance hormone. It affects how sodium and potassium are processed. And this is why salt, sodium, chloride, and potassium chloride are so helpful and important for your circulatory system. Sodium deficiencies can be, uh, are, are, uh, are a common uh, common uh, side effect or a common result of excessive aldosterone secretion, which means diabetics probably need more sodium too. So aldosterone helps not only with, uh, it's not only a hormone that is important for uh, salt, uh, salt processing, but it's also a hormone that's associated with high blood pressure and diabetes and aldosterone is a stress hormone. It's a hormone that your body will secrete when it is under stress, whether that stress is blood sugar stress or nutritional deficiency stress or lack of oxygen stress or running or exertion type of stress. Aldosterone is a stress 
hormone, and I would venture to say that behind hypertension for many folks is excessive amounts of aldosterone secretion, which is to say two things. Number one, if you got hypertension, relaxation strategies are going to help you. Number two, if you got, uh, if you have hypertension, make sure you get enough salt. Contrary to popular belief, if you crave salt, trust your cravings. And then also, and that's, there's a reason why people who crave salts also have high amounts of stress, or if you're under a lot of stress, you're going to crave salts more. So pro, be proactive. Don't eat the salty, salt, fake salt food. Eat uh, Celtic sea salt. Even, a, even going as, to, as far as to put half a teaspoon of Celtic sea salt in a glass of water and sipping on it can be a great health strategy, contrary to medical model popular belief. All right, 844 is our number. Let's welcome Paula to the bright side. Good morning, Paula. What's going on? Hi, good morning. Can you hear me? Hey. You're on speakerphone. Is that okay? I hear, you. I hear you great. What's going on? Oh, great. Well, I've been using your skincare products, and I love them, but today oh. I have a medical question. Okay, great. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, um, yeah, you're welcome. Um, I've been what are you using real quick? Of, real quick, Paula, which, which products are you using? The truth. The Truth Bomb, which I don't use as much as I do the um, 5% retinoic acid and then the... It's retinol. The one in the bottle, but... Pardon? 5% retinol. Yes. So are you noticed, that, did, did you peel then, from the 5% retinol? I, I didn't. Um, okay. I use it a lot, and I don't peel, but... That's, you don't have to peel? You, before. Yeah, you don't have to peel. I had you done a peel, a Vipeel, and I didn't peel then, and, and we had talked about it being because I was, was using the retinol, so now yeah. I don't need those commercial peels. That's so awesome. Wonderful. Good job. How, and how, yeah. long does, how long does that jar last, that uh, jar of retinol? It lasts about eight months. It lasts a long time. I just That's use just a tiny bit, and I use a lot deal. of water. Good deal. Well, get the mist next yeah. time, and you'll get the folic minerals with it. Yeah, I did get the folic mist, but I don't know how to use it, so I haven't just used put it Just put, put a little retinol in your hand. And then a couple okay. spritzes, excuse me, a couple spritzes of the uh, biomimetic mineral mist, the fulvic mineral mist, and then kind of okay. rub your hands together and then apply from your hands to your face. Okay. And Does that make sense? I'll do that then. Okay, good. Hey, okay. listen, we got to, excuse me, Paul, I got to take a commercial, but I'll get you as soon as we're done uh, with the commercial break. We'll get you up. Okay? Okay. Don't go away. Perfect. Thanks, Paul. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. On the bright side, talking to Paula in Texas. Hey, Paula. Yes. Okay, so, so what, um, been, what's going on today? Well, I've been using your digestive strategies for a long time now, in addition to other medical modalities like chelation and um, infrared nice. sauna and all that, and supplements, of course. But I'm missing Did you have a health challenge that, you were dealing with? Well, I've, yes, I've overcome chronic fatigue, and I had nice. uh, like lichen sclerosis and then i have did you overcome lichen sclerosis is it gone the lichen sclerosis yeah that's gone yeah oh that's awesome that's awesome that is awesome you know there's not a doctor there's not a doctor strategy on the planet that could have helped you with that not even symptomatically their their way is surgery just keep them going having scar tissue you know crazy crazy lichen sclerosis for the listeners a colostomy or uh Illo conduit, so and those weren't options. So, are you a nurse? You sound like you know some stuff yeah. there. Uh huh. Okay. Are, are you an RN? But, yeah. That's awesome. Ago. Not anymore. Okay. There's no way I could go do that anymore. That's awesome. Well, so go ahead. How can we help you here? Um. Well. I, I ended up doing a three-day fecal test just because my leaky gut still an issue, but it's much, much better. And I wanted okay. to see how the candida was because I've got a toenail fungus I've been working on for a year now. And it's, it's probably, still, still it's still probably had a leaky. It's under- yeah, that, if it's, you know, it, the nail fungus is not the end of the world, but it's a sign that you might want to start working on stuff. And you probably still have a degree of leaky gut. You know, it's, it's kind yeah. of, a, you can get rid of, you can patch up the leaky gut and eliminate problem foods like 90% really quickly. But then that last 10%, it takes more time. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah, like the ninety percent, which is where you're at, that you got rid of that quickly. But then the ten percent can take years. Yeah. So you okay. got to really, well, you got to really pay close attention. And the more you can fast, the more uh, the problems will be revealed to you. When you take a couple of days off from food, you notice things more clearly. 
So oh, yeah. if you can Definitely. if you can fast for a day or two, you'll notice it more. It'll be more dramatic. Whatever you're dealing with, the, the, the food condition. Well, the fecal test showed up the cryptosporidiosis. Sporidiosis. Well, yeah, but those are just and, um, symptoms. That's not the problem. Those are just symptoms. Well, but that parasite. I'm concerned about the parasite. Yeah, the, but you, like but low stomach acid will will make it yeah. more you more susceptible so to parasites. Does yeah, I'm just, vinegar? it's not just low stomach acid. I'm just pointing out that that's one of the things that can cause, make right. you more, make parasitic infections more likely. So, so yes, apple cider vinegar, but I would be doing HCL drops if I were you. Okay. That's uh, because you're already but got some history there. Have those? No, you got to get a pharmacist to make it and uh, you may need a doctor's prescription for it. Just get the strong okay. stuff, the HCL drops and then do apple cider vinegar too. Uh, and then also enzymes. Lots of digestive yeah, enzymes I, with them. I do, my pro, I do my probiotics and my enzymes religiously and my EFAs and my NAC and my alpha lipoic acid. Okay. And you got it going on. Stuff. Just keep but, just keep focusing. Like I said, the last few percentages, percentage points, are those the hardest, so keep focusing. But it sounds like you're well-equipped and you know what you're doing. But definitely don't go on that because they want to put me on that, um, oh, what's the name of the drug? Thalinia. But I looked Th- up the ingredients. What's That's it called? Thalinia? Yes. It, is it a new drug? I haven't heard of thalania. Yeah, it's A L I N I A. It's um, A L A N I A. Alinia. What kind of drug is it? A L I N I A. Yeah. What, what kind of drug it's, is it? Um, nitrosonamide. Nitrosonamide. And, and they want to use it for the fungal, like an antiparasitic. Yes, and I don't have diarrhea, but no. Nah, you know, if you that. take if you take a drug that's going to kill things in your body. It'll have an effect yeah. on you and your cells and your microbiome. I would, That's I would. I, uh, I just needed reinforcement. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, if you can avoid it, and and if you don't have diarrhea or any other, are you constipated? No, no. Yeah. Mm-mm. How do they know you had this crypto? Oh, it was in your. It was a fecal thing. I did hey, listen, you know, people that. have parasites. That, people have parasites just as part of the natural microbiome in the body. But so the word parasites kind of creepy. The word parasite is kind of creepy right. and it kind of freaks people out, but we have parasites as part of our normal flora. You know that, right? Right. So, yeah. but this was you know, three plus, so I was concerned. I would be that. working on the gut. I, I, I focus on the digestive okay. system is what I would do if I were you. Thank you so much, Paul. Appreciate your call, and I'm glad right. we could help Thank you. Thank you. Okay, take care. All right, let's go to Mike in Texas. Good morning, Mike. What's going on, buddy? Mike? Uh, oh, Mike, yes. Mike? Hello. Oh, hey, Hello. you're not Mike. Hey. Hi. Hi, this is Raquel, and I've got Mike here, and okay. we are at a rehab center in Fort Worth, Texas, and Mike is going to say hello to you, but let me, he's had three heart surgeries, oh and then goodness. he fell down, hurt his lower back, and he's very weak. Well, so let me Mike ask you a couple things. To... Let me ask you a couple things real quick, Raquel. How old is Mike? He's 83. Okay, gotcha. And uh, how, how, much, how far post-surgery is he? What does that mean? When did he get out of surgery? Years ago. Oh, yeah, it, it, several years ago. The last oh, the reason why he okay. got a week. Okay, yeah, the so reason he's, why he's here is because he failed. I gotcha. Okay, I gotcha. Get him on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine as soon as possible. As okay. Today. Don't waste a minute. It, it'll make a huge difference. He's probably very malnourished. The BTT, okay. it put, when you put the BTT in a malnourished body, it's kind of like watering a plant in the desert that hasn't had water. The plant just sucks okay. up that water, and your body, Mike's body will suck up the nutrients and make a huge difference. Get him liquid protein, as in chicken soup. Smoothies are okay, but the chicken soup has other things in it. I have bone soup. And if you can't, you know, you don't have time to make it yourself, find, find a good quality bone soup somewhere. Okay. It'll make a big difference. Aloe vera liquids, also, aloe vera liquid may help too, and also vegetable juices. You want to give him liquid, concentrated liquid nutrients. Especially liquid protein, but everything. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, and then uh, the electrolytes in, uh, will also in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine will also help. So BTT, um, uh, vegetable juices, aloe vera, homemade chicken soup with the bones. He'll, you'll change his life. Throw in algae and seaweed into the chicken soup if you can. You'll, you'll change his life. You'll add years to this guy's life. Just that program alone. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. I'm gonna let you. I want to get one more call, and I'm gonna let you go. Okay. Thank you. Thank oh, you know you. what else? Bye. If you can get him some Bye. vitamin C without causing any diarrhea or anything, high doses of vitamin C. But just be careful with with his bowels. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. And let's take one more call. Quince in Florida. What's going on, Quince? I think I know who you are. Quince? Hey Ben. 
Hey, I haven't talked. Are you the guy who writes me all these kind Facebooks? I, I, I got to thank you. That's, uh, occasionally I, appreciate I do. It. I try not to get, you know, get into your time. I know it's very valuable. Anyway, your your show is, in my opinion, the top show on the network. It's oh, rich right. with thank information. And I just wanted you to, let, to let you know from the back of the classroom, we uh, are listening. Your okay. mention of Primal Panacea by Thomas Levy. I purchased yeah. the book. Great I'm book, on, huh? I'm, I'm almost halfway through it, and I highly recommend it to all the class. It's oh, good just, for you. It's good so for you. rich. Everybody thinks they know what vitamin C is and does right. because it's so basic. But exactly. It is huge. It it's is a so huge basic. subject. It's, and I thought, because well, it's geez. so basic. It's like water I, to a fish. The it's fish doesn't, basic, but it's so diverse in its application. All the things it does. Every cellular yeah. function. And I'm so yeah. glad you mentioned this. I sent a copy of it to a good friend of mine who is also a student. And I have one other book I'd like to recommend. It's called The Great American Health Hoax by Raymond Francis. Okay. I hadn't heard of that. What, what's the, Give me the theme in a nutshell. Uh, he was on uh, 30-some medications, a uh, very highly educated biology background, and finally decided that the doctors were killing him, and he had to take his health into his own hands. He tells the story of what happened to him and uh, gets into details about every aspect because he went and studied the medical matrix and what is really going on and what the statistics show and why it's so important. It's what you, you teach, basically. The you Great American your... Health Hoax? It's called The Great American Health Hoax. Yes, it is. And who's the author? Raymond Francis. Okay, I'm de I haven't heard of it, but that sounds really interesting. I'm definitely going to give that a, well, a look-see. I just wanted to thank you for mentioning Prima, Primal Panacea. Got the book. Love it. Oh, Highly well, awesome recommend you, it. You know, we had Thomas Levy on the program a couple times. I should probably give him a shout out. He's, he's got another book on calcium. He's got books on, on vitamin K. You know, he's a lawyer and he's a, a JD and an MD. So he's got a lot of education behind him, but he's really not mainstream by any stretch of the imagination. And everything he talks about in Primal, Primal Panacea about vitamin C is absolutely right on from a biochemical standpoint. Thanks for bringing that up, too, by the way. I'm glad you benefited from it. Anything Thanks, else, my ben. friend? That's okay, all. Good. Thank you, sir. All right, good. The Great bye -bye. American Health Hoax by Raymond Francis. I will definitely be looking into that. And Primal Panacea is a book by... Uh, Thomas Levy, L-E-V-Y, if you're interested in, in really the scoop on vitamin C. It's, it's somewhat, unfortunately, misunderstood, but man, is that stuff powerful, vitamin C. Don't underappreciate the simple little things, and vitamin C is a classic example of it. Even from a molecular perspective, its tininess, its infinitesimal size is really quite astounding for something that's that powerful as a medicine. All right, eight, four, uh, that's it. I guess we're out of time. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. Please check out my website's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products. And Truth Skin Health products are available at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.